welcome along to another Friday Lunchtime Live. I've been away for a few days, so today's my first day back in the shop. Uh, so I thought I would show you through some fabrics that we've had in. So a little bit of background. Um, I'm trying to find more UK based suppliers because do you know what in all honesty Brexit yeah that's that's not been great that's not been great for small businesses in case you didn't know um but yeah it's proving really one expensive now and two just difficult and time consuming to get fabrics from Europe so a lot of my privy suppliers based in Europe and it is taking rather than the usual maybe two or three weeks to get a border in maybe two or three months to get things in and of course if you know it just means then sort of things are um, out of sync seasonally and things like that so Dashwood Studios are a UK based company um, and um, they use lots of UK based designers and that sort of thing um, so if we're kind of putting them into some sort of category, you're looking at them being similar to things like cotton and steel fabrics, similar to Ruby Star, um, which, you know, I'm a big, big fan of Ruby Star fabrics. Um, so it's that kind of thing. Um, so they do a lot of cottons um, on the shorter bolts, so the um, 112 centimetre bolts. So those fabrics are sort of a medium weight um, quilt and cotton, um, but also really good for dressmaking. So you've got um, patterns like the Nina Lee Carnaby dress, the Yavid Seamstress Day dress, the Stevie pattern from Tilling the Buttons, um, the, um, oh, what's it called? The skirt from Dear and Doe. I always forget the name of it, a agave skirt. And the little wrap over one, the Nina Lee um, Camden pinafore, things like that that need a bit more structure. Um, also, they work really well for dungaree patterns and trouser patterns as well. So more of a bottom weight fabric. Um, you wouldn't want to make like a nice drapey blouse with them um, because that just wouldn't work. But a garment that needs a bit more structure, perfect. Um, so they do lots of gorgeous designs. Um, I've picked things that um, I just think you guys will really like. So this is my initial order. We've got loads more on order and as they get released, we'll get them in. Um, so yeah, I'll talk you through them now, but we don't just have the shorter quilting weight. We also have a couple of rayons and a couple of cotton lawns, which are absolutely beautiful. And they come on the longer, sort of um, 150, 145, 150 wide fabrics. So there's a mix here. Um, before I start, I am wearing my Nina Lee Park Lane blouse with the little um, poofy sleeves. Um, and this is from our Cerise Leopard Print Rail, which we still have some of. Um, very, very nice and comfortable to wear. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it, uh, housekeeping wise, but yes, um, I hope you're all well. Ask me any questions in the comment box and I will, um, try and answer them as we go. Um, yes. So yes, this week's been a bit of a anomaly, hasn't it? We've had, um, all kinds of weather. We actually have beautiful weather. We were in, um, South Wales for a few days and we had gorgeous weather. Um, and then just now it's just been absolutely torrential rain and now it's fine again. Who knows? Who knows what's going on with it? Right, I am going to start with this very cute fabric, which I thought, obviously, given what we all love to do, which is sewing, um, I thought this one might be popular. So it is the Hobbies Sewing Cotton. So it's on a really pretty blush pink background. And then it's got all kinds of buttons, bobbins, scissors, threads, tape measures, sewing machines. So that would be really cute for like a little um, kind of gathered skirt or something like that. Uh, Nina Lee Carnaby dress would be very cute, just to, you know, tell everyone what you do. Um, or it would work really well for cushions for a sewing room or a sewing machine cover would be really nice out of that. 
so there you go that's a close-up of it um, but as I said, this is the kind of medium quilting weight cotton. Very, very cute, that one. And I love this colour. It's a lovely turquoise one. Um, and this really kind of reminds me of the Rifle Paper Company kind of prints. Beautiful florals. So this is called the Hedgerow Cotton. And as I say, lovely turquoise beautiful oranges against that love that um color palette going on lots of um starry eyes from jenny <laughs> um so yeah this one is an absolute beaut and i think you could make a lovely shirt out of it maybe a shirt dress um instead a nice gathered skirt or oh do you know what the other seamstress day dress would be beautiful out of this or Jenny, what's that lovely dress pattern that you always make? I can't remember what it's called. Is it the Surya, the Deer and Doe Surya, something like that? Um, or the, um, what's the one with that lovely cutout? The Blue A dress from Deer and Doe, that would also be nice in this. Um, yeah, so very pretty one. And the cottons are 14 pounds per metre. Yes, Surya dress. Oh, that's right, I did remember it. Well done, Brie. <laughs> so this one is called Our Planet and it has some beautiful animals on it. So it's a lovely dark navy base. And I'll stand up a little bit so you can see it. So we've got some beautiful tigers, some birds and um, dragonflies and then some turtles. So really nice repeat on this one. And um, yeah, lovely florals on it as well. So, ooh, a nice Tilly in the Button Stevie would be good out of this. Um, very, very lovely. And then this one is a fun one because it's the border print. And I love a border print. So I've ordered quite a few. Um, they're gonna be coming um, over the next month or so. Um, because some of the, these, these ones um, were all ready to ship now, but some of them are from newer co collections that are coming in soon. So if I show you this one. And I'd actually forgotten this one was a border print because it's folded on the inside. And I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And then I went, ah, hang on, I remember. So if you can see that one. So you could make all kinds with this. I like the idea of the Anna bodice. So the by Hanland and Anna. So you've got that lovely neckline like that. And then I wouldn't do the panelled skirt for the um, Anna. I would do a gathered skirt because that's going to work better and show off that um, beautiful border much better. Because with the panel, you might not kind of line it up right. But I think that would look lovely. You can make a lovely shirt. Um, again, sorry to pick on you, Jenny, but Jenny made a gorgeous Deer and Doe Melilo shirt out of one of our um, Rifle Paper Company border prints. Or oh, maybe it was a Ruby Star. No, it was a Ruby Star one, sorry. Um, and um, go and have a look. She, give us a twirl is her um, username. Go and have a look on her Instagram feed because she made a beautiful um, shirt out of a border print just showing the, how they, um, you can use the border in a you know, different way different placements, that sort of thing. So yes, apart from the border you've got, so some lovely flowers and birds. There's a little snail doing its thing, little mushrooms. Very cute little design on that one. Dokey. Um, and you know what's coming up, don't you? You know we're in September. That means Halloween, it's around the corner. Uh, so I've already shown you some other Halloween fabrics you know, um, in last week's video that we've had in and I couldn't resist getting this one. So this, you wouldn't necessarily think it's Halloween from back here, it just looks like a nice sort of autumnal print. And then if we get up closer, can you see it's got little spooky skulls? Where there? spooky skulls in there in the middle of the flowers and then very subtle cobwebs 
in the back. So love this one. So I'm thinking, um, because we are having a Halloween party very soon. So 29th of October, save the date in your diaries. I'm about to um, advertise it in the next day or so. Um, but yes, I'm thinking for my outfit this year, I might even make a little pair of lander shorts out of this because I think that would be very cute, or maybe a little skirt. Oh no, I was actually thinking, no, I've changed my mind, the um, Nina Lee Camden skirt with the full pockets. I think I might need that. Um, so yes, love that one. And I know um, Stacy from Notions of a Dressmaker, she's already ordered some of this, so that's when it's way to her today. Um, yes, so obviously then I'll after Halloween, well, after Halloween we've got my birthday and then we've got Christmas. Uh, so, just um, I thought this one was a lovely wintry fabric. Not like in your face Christmassy, but Christmassy enough. Still nice and wintry. So, this one is called Starlit Hollow, which is also sounds like Stars Hollow from um, Gilmore Girls. But yeah, very pretty. This one is on a navy base with lots of lovely blues and then it's got a nice metallic gold through it. So, also cute. So those are the shorter bolts. And then let's move on to the cottons. So these are cotton lawns. And to be honest, they feel like rayons. They are absolutely beautiful so soft and um, they've got a nice drape to them so if I show you that and then just look how beautiful this is so it's really bright neon kind of colors and um, it's a jet black background yeah just love that combo so this one is called kaleidoscope so that's that I think that's a good representation of the colours there. So I think, you know, the by hand London dresses, the um, party dresses, they look lovely in these. So a nice Anna dress, something, oh, a nice maxi dress in this. Did you see the um, Matilda dress that I made out of the um, teal? This one, the teal leopard print cotton. So the um, Megan Nielsen um, Matilda dress. This would work nicely for that. Hmm. So yes, very nice. And um, also great for shirt making as well. And this is the same base cloth. Again, that lovely smooth cotton lawn. So this one is called Flourish Ace. And it's a really lovely contemporary design. These gorgeous brush strokes in lovely colors. I love that blush pink. So again, that's a navy base. Um, but yeah, I think that would be stunning for a lovely blouse. Ooh, a nice wilder gown in this one. Mm -mm. Lovely, ooh, a wilder gown in the other one as well. Mm. Okay, now I wanna get start sewing. I haven't sewn in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I need to make something out of one of these. Right, now let's look at some rayons. So this one is the circle line. beautiful pink it's like a lilac -y pink really and it's got these lovely flowers and leaves on it so it feels like really autumnal colors on the lilac -y base cloth but yes yeah, so lovely and drapey and what's nice about these because the ruby star rayons are um the narrower width whereas these ones are 145 wide so really good value um these ones are 16 50 a meter but yes, beautiful. So as I said, a nice swishy dress, like a wilder gown would be nice in these. And um, the Park Lane would work nicely in these. So yes, love them. Oh, sorry, the phone's ringing. Hold on, bear with me. Sorry, super professional. You can't stop the phone from ringing, can you? Um, anyway. Here you go. So you know it's live when this sort of stuff happens. Um, and then the last one I'm going to show you 
is one of my faves. It is such a lovely colour. I'm an absolute sucker for anything teal. So this one is called Gardenia Viscose. Look at that beautiful teal and the lovely sort of purpley pinks. And you've got a lovely bright orange running through it. So this one's got lovely exotic birds on it. I hope I'm holding it the right way. Yes, I am. So yeah, beautiful. Oh, maybe a wilder top out of this. That would be lovely. Um, and they're a lovely weight of viscose. They do have two different weights. One is super sheer, and I just thought, God, no one's going to want to work with that. But this is a nice, like, it's got a nice weight to it. It's not super, super floaty, but it's not heavy. So you can see that, that lovely movement. So there you go. Um, does anyone have any questions about any of them? Okay, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, that's all the fabrics I'm going to share with you today. Don't forget, if you haven't seen already, we have um, some new workshops up online. So we've got um, a bodice and sleeve block fitting masterclass which is going to be amazing um, and then we've got a trouser block fitting workshop so they're both over a weekend um, and they're going to be really intensive but amazing um, and you're going to come away with amazingly fitted either bodices or trousers and and it's going to be all you so you'll be making your own block based on your own measurements um, I know there's, there's various different ways of doing fitting courses. You can either learn how to kind of fit things, but it but you wouldn't have time to make your own block in this workshop where you're going to be making your own block to your measurements, which is, I think, what everyone really wants and needs. And then we have our six-week fit club. So first rule of fit club, we don't talk about fit club, but except for we will, because you need to know about it. So... This is going to be a bit more unstructured. So whereas the bodice fitting class is going to be, you'll be talked through various different um, types of adjustments and how to create your own block. But this is going to be, you'll come in with, right, I've got these kinds of fit issues. I need, do I need a sway back adjustment? Do I need small bust adjustment? These kinds of things. And then you can work on them with specific patterns. Um, so really perfect the fit on specific patterns um so seraphina who is our amazing teacher um is going to work with you and you'll have six weeks to work on as many fit issues as you can fit in really um so that's going to be great so that's going to be on a wednesday evening starting from the 6th of october so sign up if you are keen um there i've just shared on stories actually um with links otherwise go to our um workshops tab on the website and you can find all the details there um, but any questions let me know um, and as I said keep the 29th of October free for our Halloween party because that's going to be very exciting we've missed having events like that in the shop um, so yes I will be releasing tickets for that very soon so I will see you all later thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you soon bye bye